Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 69. My grievances hide the light of the world in me. No one can look upon what your grievances conceal because your grievances are hiding the light of the world in you. Everyone stands in darkness and you beside him. But as the veil of your grievances is lifted, you are released with him. Share your salvation now with him who stood beside you when you were in hell. He is your brother in the light of the world that saves you both. I'm going to pause and say this is one of the most powerful concepts in the Course in Miracles that we save ourselves by setting everyone else free. That there's a reciprocal relationship with each other. As they're freed, we're freed. As we're freed, they're freed. He is your brother in the light of the world that saves you both. Today, let us make another real attempt to reach the light in you. Before we undertake this in our more extended practice period, let us devote several minutes to thinking about what we're trying to do. We are literally attempting to get in touch with the salvation of the world. We are trying to see past the veil of darkness that keeps it concealed. We are trying to let the veil be lifted and to see the tears of God's son disappear in the sunlight. Wow. Let us begin our longer practice period today with the full realization that this is so and with real determination to reach what is dearer to us than all else. Salvation is our only need. There is no other purpose here and no other function to fulfill. Learning salvation is our only goal. Let us end the ancient search today by finding the light in us. Let us end the ancient search today by finding the light in us and holding it up for everyone who searches with us to look upon and rejoice. Very quietly now with your eyes closed, try to let go of all the content that generally occupies your consciousness. Think of your mind as a vast circle surrounded by a layer of heavy, dark clouds. You can see only the clouds because you seem to be standing outside the circle and quite apart from it. From where you stand, you can see no reason to believe there is a brilliant light hidden by the clouds. The clouds seem to be the only reality. They seem to be all there is to see. Therefore, you do not attempt to go through them and pass them, which is the only way in which you would be really convinced of their lack of substance. We will make this attempt today. I'm gonna pause and say recently I was on a flight and as I was up in the air, we passed through the cloud cover and we moved above it. And I looked down and it was thick, heavy clouds but the sun was so bright, shining golden light directly into my eyes. And it was just beautiful, a beautiful sight. And I realized that from the ground, the sun was completely blocked. It was a dark and dreary day, but the sun was still there shining in all its glory. But there was a veil between the sun and the earth. And I think this is a really beautiful metaphor. After you've thought about the importance of what you are trying to do for yourself and the world, try to settle down in perfect stillness, remembering only how much you want to reach the light in you today. Now, determine to go past the clouds. Reach out and touch them in your mind. Brush them aside with your hand. Feel them resting on your cheeks and forehead and eyelids as you go through them. Go on. Clouds cannot stop you. If you are doing the exercises properly, you will begin to feel a sense of being lifted up and carried ahead. Your little effort and small determination call on the power of the universe to help you and God himself will raise you from darkness into light. You are in accord with his will. You cannot fail because your will is his. Have confidence in your father today and be certain that he has heard you and answered you. You may not recognize his answer yet, but you can indeed be sure that it is given you and you will yet receive it. 
Try as you attempt to go through the clouds to the light to hold this confidence in your mind. Try to remember that you are at last joining your will to God's. Try to keep the thought clearly in mind that what you undertake with God must succeed. Then let the power of God work in you and through you that his will and yours be done. In the shorter practice periods, what you will want to do as often as possible in view of the importance of today's idea to you and your happiness, remind yourself that your grievances are hiding the light of the world from your awareness. Remind yourself also that you are not searching for it alone and that you do not know where to look for it. Say then, my grievances hide the light of the world in me. I cannot see what I have hidden, yet I want to let it be revealed to me for my salvation and the salvation of the world. Also be sure to tell yourself, if I hold this grievance, the light of the world will be hidden from me. If you are tempted to hold anything against anyone today. Wow. The clouds in this metaphor represent illusion, represents grievances that's obscuring the truth, obscuring the truth of who and what you are. Sit with this today and allow yourself to feel the perfect stillness within you and to connect with that. Thank you so much for joining with us today. May God bless you in this endeavor to connecting with the truth of what you are. And I will see you tomorrow for Lesson 70.